We've been talking about Travis Scott's Utopia for the last four years and there still hasn't been anything but now it seems like the release date might have been revealed guys so stay tuned with us and subscribe for more updates on Travis Scott's Utopia and in this video we're going to take you guys through the release date as well as a theory for the exact date for when this album could drop so how excited are you for this album? Oh Rob? man, listen, I think it's probably one of the most anticipated albums and rollouts that I've kind of ever been involved with. I mean, the Kendrick hype last year was massive, but Utopia, man, like there's people foaming at the mount for this new album. It's going to so. be the biggest album of 2023. Oh, and sure. what's crazy is that a Billboard article just came out today and it was actually the CEO of Epic Records being interviewed. And within that article, you'll find that she said, we have a new Travis Scott record expected to come come in June, which is massive because we've been speculating which month is he going to go with this, and it finally looks like we have a summer album for Travis Scott, but this is where it gets really interesting, all right, is that he might have actually revealed the exact date that he's going to drop two years ago. Yeah, so, so there's this crazy theory going around, and I've been seeing people post it up on Twitter, I've been seeing people in an RG comments talk about it, so... Let's go back to 2021, all right? When he ended up doing the rollout for Mafia and for Escape Plan, if you guys were to go check out that OG cover, which is, by the way, changed right now, you would have seen the date June 23rd, which is quite interesting because why would he take it off now and why would he update it all of a sudden? I think he was dropping a hint all along, bro. Like, that June 23rd date makes perfect sense. I mean, it gives enough time for Travis to roll out this album. And not only that, but what's very interesting as well is that Travis is performing in Milan, Italy on June 30th at the I Days Festival and what's fucking crazy about that is that Kendrick kind of had a similar rollout last year because Kendrick dropped Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers on May 13, 2022 and then a month later where does he perform? Milan, Italy at another Italian you see, festival. That's the thing that I'm less convinced about. That's more about. of a reach for you? That's a bit more know, of a reach bro. for you because maybe that's I like scheduling. It. I like it too because maybe that's a bit more of like a scheduling thing but I genuinely do think that this has to come soon, right? Because think about how many people are hyped for this album and how many people want to see it happen i mean just between you and i and like the whole nfr team we've been covering videos on this album now for maybe the better part of two years since we've actually existed on youtube so i know for us it's going to be massive i know for our community it's going to be massive but how do you think people are taking a liking to this new rollout it's been long it's been a bit dreadful i'm not going to lie to you because you always get these dates here and there you get these little hints and yeah. subtlety so how do you think people are hanging in there i right think now? people are hanging in i mean travis scott is a one-of-a-kind artist and when he drops a fucking album you know it's an event bro you know everybody's gonna be tuned in and the fact that he's saying he's gonna bring psychedelic rock he's gonna bring in a new sound like i feel like we need someone to press that reset button on mainstream hip-hop and give us something groundbreaking that's what travis could do and what's interesting too is that there's been more updates bro i feel like everything's been kind of leading up to this moment yeah because it's pretty crazy because if you go back, let's say even to last week, um, there was two different instances where he spoke about Utopia yeah. and the status of it. So um, where do you want to start? You want to start at the event or the baseball Let's start game? off at the recent performance he had on okay. February 19th. And he pretty much told us that he's going to be dropping Utopia after all the Cactus Jack boys end up rolling out their albums this year. So that includes Don Tolliver's Love Sick, which is dropping now. Then you have DJ Chase B, who's dropping his debut album. You have Sheck West coming with an album called The Scouts. Then you have Sofago dropping an EP, and after all of these projects, he said Utopia is going to drop. And Very interesting, okay? This yeah. too, okay? If you go back to, let's say, their Twitters or social medias, after this happened, they actually ended up starting to tease these new projects for themselves. Yep. So this is what's interesting is that I feel like they're trying to go for a complete sweep. where Complete takeover. They, yeah, where they're going to have so many different moving parts come together, and they're going to lead up to a finale. But even going back to that softball game, I think it was a softball game because then Metro ended up posting it up. Softball or baseball, yeah, I don't Whatever it is. They were at a sporting <laughs> event. It was for a charity game. And and Travis Scott's walking by and he's like, Utopia, that motherfucker's coming soon to a bunch of fans. And it's like, he knows there's going to be cameras on him and he knows that's going to end up going viral. And he's so been saying that for to us for like the longest time, bro. So like you kind of have to take it with a grain of salt. But now that we're hearing that it's coming in June, I couldn't be happier that we actually have yeah, a time frame for it. And it's kind of typical of Travis Scott to drop either in the summertime or or the fall time, if you look at all of his previous releases, they've all been in either like August, September, all around that range. Um, and this one's going to be exciting. And 
going back to what we were saying about the whole Cactus Jack takeover, this is going to be the first year, I feel like, where the whole label kind of starts to gel and glue together because they never really had a prominent year, I feel like, as a label collectively. And now with the signing of Sofago and seeing the waves that he's making, I feel like there's going to be a sick buildup to this Utopia album because we're probably also going to get to hear a lot of features from Travis on some of these projects, hopefully, hopefully. that end up building into Utopia. So... I mean, do you, you see this going any other way? Like, do you think this could be bullshit and the, end of, the album ends up coming out in, like, 2024? Well, listen, the CEO of Epic Records is coming out and speaking yeah. about the album. It would be pretty messed up to have that happen and see nothing materialize out of that. But what I find more interesting is that he knows the game he's playing, right? Like, there's certain artists that could take this long to drop an album, and one of them is Travis Scott. And I think it's kind of a genius move to kind of wait and really see where the waters go with this because after the hype of Astroworld, he could have really just rebounded off of that success and continued to drop project and project and project. But what's interesting is that I feel like people are on the edge with this rollout, bro. People are really hungry, and we'll go as far as to read billboard articles to find out when this is going to be coming. And not only that, but there's been this certain, I would say, atmosphere um, in the air right now where everyone has utopia on the brain. Like, if you... If you say the name Travis Scott, the word that goes right next to that name is Utopia. So I feel like the marketing's been better than ever. Mm -hmm. I think this rollout is going to be fucking grand. And like that whole COVID, like post-dead industry sort of thing is over now. People are coming out of the gates. People are dropping. The industry is hot again. He needs to actually drop to be able to stay competitive. So I think it would be a good time for yeah, him to drop. Yeah, I think we're at like an all-time high when it comes to the hype for this album. But the pressure is on at the same time, bro. It's been five years since we've heard from him. And he knows he has to deliver some magic here. So but like, I think he's you think it is going to be, let's say, a top two or three album of the year. I I don't want to say that right off the bat, you know, like fuck the, you know, fuck the quality right now. I really want to wait for the album to start speaking. I on know, that. but but, bro. I, I, but the thing is, is that that's what happens. Then you start putting these false expectations on yourself for but the it's album. It's Travis Scott. We know what kind of fucking albums he puts together. But the question is, like, when you're looking at the recent singles, some have hit, some haven't hit, and it's more of a question of like, how is he gonna world build again to put us into this new this new universe? Like, I want to see some sick marketing, bro. Like when he had that gold inflatable for Astro World and, and those heads were popping up all across California. I want to see something grand like yeah, that. So I hope he delivers that. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he's going to you know? do that for sure because that's what worked so well with Astro World. So I think if he does anything less for Utopia, people might feel like they're getting a bit slighted with that. And I mean, even looking at where Travis is at in his career right now, it's kind of in a similar position with Astro World where he was teasing Astro before Rodeo itself. So Oh, before the, Birds, I believe. Yeah. I th No, I think it was around that Rodeo time, bro. Like even I'm pretty, before... I'm pretty Pretty it, sure I, I, from he what put I out remember, rodeo and then started teasing Astro Roll and then birds came out like I don't know where around that time. Regardless, yeah. so what's cool is that we know what happens when you wait so long for an album and then boom, it comes out and it's on that delivery point where everything is hitting the production styles, the features, the grandiose effect of it. So let me ask you something. You know, top three features you'd want to see on this album. Top three features. I mean, we've answered this maybe a million times, but, but it 20, always changes. Hey, we're in 2023. It always changes. We're in 2023. Um, who would I want to see on here? ASAP Rocky, I'm going to keep saying that name, bro. I mean, the two kings of psychedelic rap right now. Um, another name I want to see is Tame Impala. I want to see Kevin Parker, especially for psychedelic rock. Like, that's his forte. It'd be fucking perfect. And another rapper I would want to see on this project, I would have to go with... I don't know, bro. I mean, give me... Hmm... Give me Baby Keem. Baby man. Keem's good. Yeah, Baby Keem needs to be able to make this project for sure. They had so much chemistry on Do Rag Activity and they make mood music. Like, they yeah. would actually meet for a really nice middle point on a song like you ended up getting. Who else would you add? Anybody else? Um, anyone else in that conversation? I mean, Don Tolliver again. Of course. For sure. You know, Don Tolliver is standard. I mean, we didn't get, like, we didn't get Don Tolliver's new album just yet. By the time you guys do get this video, like, we'll have a better idea of, like, what's going to happen with the features. But. Is Travis even an announced feature on the track list? I don't no, think so. I don't believe so. I didn't see it. So who knows? Maybe he pops up as a surprise. You guys, you guys are gonna be watching this later, so you'll know by then. But I mean, regardless, I would like to see that collaboration go down again. And one more? Man, I would probably have to say 
I don't know. I'd probably keep it the baby yeah. King, bro. I think I think yeah. that's really the one and guy you, I want to see. You don't even need yeah. that many features on on a Travis album, even though he's known for them. Like whatever, give me the Frank Ocean, give me the regulars. I'll take whatever we can get. Give me a Frank Ocean, you know, just say it as a regular. <laughs> like so give, give, me, give me a Frank Ocean, you know? <laughs> as if it's so attainable. <laughs> but guys, listen, this album is coming soon, possibly in June. So let us know down in the comments. Do you think Travis Scott will be dropping this album in the summertime? What do you think of the theory? Let us know and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new to NFR because we will be keeping you guys updated with everything Utopia related. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.